Some messages suggest rampant leaks to the media may have come from the other CIA, other intel agencies. Now their watchdog is facing calls from two top GOP senators to get to the bottom of all of this. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Arridge picks up there live in D.C. now. Catherine, good morning. Thank you, Bill, and good morning. In a new letter to the intelligence community's internal watchdog, Republican Senators Ron Johnson and Chuck Grassley want to leak investigation targeting the intelligence agencies based on text messages between FBI agent Peter Strzok and FBI lawyer Lisa Page. In a December 2016 text, a month after the election, Strzok tells Page, quote, think our sisters have begun leaking like mad, scorned and worried and political. They're kicking into overdrive. In the intelligence world, sisters is typically code for the CIA, though the agency is not explicitly named. A CIA spokesman last night referred reporters to the office of the inspector general. And in an April 2017 email, struck comments on a media report that British spies were first to flag alleged links between the Trump campaign and Russia. It reads in part, quote, I'm beginning to think the agency got a lot of info earlier than we thought and hasn't shared it completely with us. Might explain all these weird, seemingly incorrect leads all these media folks have. Would also highlight agency as source of some of the leaks. Fox News first reported that Strzok and Page also discussed targeting the vice president's office during the transition, apparently seeking to leverage Pence's chief of staff, whose wife worked for Strzok. The former chief of staff told reporters last week that there was no infiltration of that office. Last night, Senator Ron Johnson, one of the two senators to write the letter, said the leaks were like an echo chamber reinforcing the anti-Trump storyline. You have agencies, potentially of the United States government, leaking stories that would fully indicate that might be the case and really creating this incredible narrative that uh, has really taken about 18 months to get to the bottom of the fact there was, there was no story there. The Attorney General William Barr recently testified to Congress that there are multiple criminal leak investigations underway. And as you know, the Justice Department Inspector General Michael E. Horowitz has been looking at the leak issue for, uh, for over a year since he released the FBI and DOJ report uh, into their activities during the emails. But it's really worth going back to that report. Buried in the back are a number of charts like this one. They're link analysis charts. And it goes to the level of contact between senior FBI executives uh, and reporters. And that is the subject of these leak investigations, Bill. Well, Catherine, thank you. Mm -hmm.